वेलकम टू द क्लिनिकल सिनारियोज एंड दिस इज योर केस नंबर थर्टी एट here we have a 62 year female who is brought to the emergency due to the severe right sided headache with nausea and eye pain <clears throat> now she had this pain while fixing a light bulb sounds interesting when she suddenly felt pain in her right eye now she decided to rest but the eye pain got worse so it is not relieved even by taking rest in the next few minutes she developed loss of vision photophobia and redness so along with this right sided headache nausea eye pain she is also developing the loss of vision so i can say that this patient is having the sudden painful diminution of vision now can you see in every case i do actually try to tell you in the starting only that how should you approach or proceed towards the diagnosis of this case because you know every time you get of the ophthalmology case this is the common start point whether there is sudden painless loss of vision sudden painful gradual painless so something like that so if you see this question also it is starting with the sudden painful diminution of vision and along with this we have uh, nausea you have got photophobia nausea photophobia and then we also have the redness and all these things are precipitated by a bright light so when this patient was fixing a light bulb so he was fixing a light bulb and he is getting this right sided headache he is having uh, nausea pain loss of vision photophobia all these things so if he is a fixing a bulb most probably there was a dark in this room and dark can lead to the mid dilatation of the pupil so you are getting so many risk factors you have to comprehend that we have got sudden painful diminution of vision we have nausea we have photophobia redness is there dilatation of pupil is there and now let's see our afterwards she took medications to relieve the headache but i pain persisted this eye pain is not being helped by the usual medications she denies any trauma you do not have any history of trauma her past medical history is significant for diabetes and hypertension so you have that you can say risk factors the risk factors are present both diabetes and hypertension her eye is red with conjunctival flushing and visual acuity is very very less it is 20 by 200 so i can say it is 6 by 60 vision her right pupil is mid dilated and non reactive to light the same eye feels hard on palpation the one treatment that should be avoided in this patient the options are acetazolamide pilocarpine timolol or atropine and now see answer is very very simple once once you have made the diagnosis and diagnosis is again very simple here sudden painful diminution of vision along with nausea photophobia redness you have mid dilated pupil non reactive with a history of diabetes and hypertension and along with this it is also hard on palpation when do you get hard eye on palpation that is a indicator of raised intraocular pressure so if you look at this eye this is actually the one they are trying to tell see they have given you mid dilated mid dilated and uh, the fixed 
pupil there is eye which is uh, having a redness you know there is also painful diminution of vision and uh, there is congestion okay and this patient is also having the uh, hardness so raise intraocular pressure when do you have that hardness you have that stony hard eye when do you have that stony hard eye stony hard eye that you get is due to the raised intraocular pressure it is due to the raised intraocular pressure and that too in a very short span of time so that means it is a case of acute congestive glaucoma what happens in acute congestive glaucoma there is a sudden increase in intraocular pressure due to the total closure of the angle of anterior chamber now when the angle of anterior chamber is closing so suddenly what is happening it is suddenly collapsing the intraocular pressure is rising like anything 40 mm or 60 mm 80 it is even reaching to 100 so eye is stony hard and patient is in immense pain you know she is in great agony now why i am saying she because acute uh, angle closure glaucoma is more common in females especially the middle aged females so they are in great pain eye stony hard means you do not require tonometry the moment you place your finger over this you are feeling the hardness a great amount of pain and you know when the iop is so high there is nausea and uh, sometimes it is vomiting also the patient is not able to tolerate orally that is why we do give the iv also in the emergency so you have got all the things you have sudden painful diminution of vision also nausea vomiting photophobia redness mid dilatation of the pupil non reactive and you know the risk factors of glaucoma are diabetes and hypertension that is also there so what happens in the angle closure glaucoma the attack usually starts due to the mid dilatation of the pupil now what happens with the mid dilatation suppose this was your cornea okay and this was your lens okay now normally the pupil will be something like this and something like this so the here you have this ciliary body and uh, the aqueous humor aqueous humor which is coming from this ciliary body it is passing through this uh, pupillary area and then going in anterior chamber and then it is passing through this angle of anterior chamber uh, like this 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 and this something like this it's going to take place now what is happening if there is mid dilatation if there is mid dilatation of the pupil this is your lens like this so what is happening this pupil is not only dilating this iris is also coming and having opposition with the equator of the lens see it this iris is coming here towards the equator and this iris is also coming towards the equator something like this so if it was like this if it is not only dilating it is also coming closer to the equator of the lens so now what is happening this aqueous humor which is produced by the ciliary body does not find any place to go anteriorly so what is happening obviously large amount of aqueous is getting collected behind the iris and a time will come when so much amount of aqueous humor is collected behind the iris that it is pushing the iris so it is pushing the iris forward so when it pushes the iris forward what is happening there is formation of the iris bombay so it is forming the iris bombay something like this whole of the iris will go and it will touch the cornea this is called as the iris bombay formation and due to this iris bombay actually the total closure of angle of anterior chamber takes place and there is a acute congestive glaucoma so we can actually if you see explain the uh mid dilatation of the pupil non reacting the redness sudden painful diminution of vision with photophobia along with the stony hard eye if all if you collect all these things together 
one diagnosis that can explain all these things is actually your acute congestive glaucoma right so what are the things that you would like to give obviously because it has been uh, uh, occurring due to the mid dilatation of the pupil i want to give a meiotic <clears throat> i want to give a meiotic in order to reverse this attack so what meiotic i can use pilocarpine the meiotic that i can use is the pilocarpine now you know pilocarpine is a active meiotic it is a active meiotic active meiotic means what that it is acting on the sphincter on the muscles so obviously this meiotic will not be able to act if there is a spasm so if i have a sphincteric spasm the meiotic will not be able to act so what i have to do first decrease the intraocular pressure therefore the first thing is that i have to decrease the intraocular pressure by giving the acetazolamide i can use the iv acetazolamide also i can use the mannitol and once the intraocular pressures becomes less then i can give this pilocarpine in order to reverse this attack right now if you look at the options <clears throat> they are asking you that what should be actually avoided in this patient first is acetazolamide so uh, this is not the answer i have to give the acetazolamide in order to decrease the intraocular pressure pilocarpine this is in fact the drug of choice now always there is a confusion when i say that the first drug to be given is the acetazolamide or the mannitol because i have to decrease the intraocular pressure don't confuse it with the drug of choice the first drugs to be given are acetazolamide or the mannitol but they are not the drug of choice the drug of choice depends which is actually helping in reversing the attack and this was attack was coming due to the mid dilatation of the pupil therefore the reversal can take place with the help of pilocarpine and therefore this becomes the drug of choice number 3 is timolol now timolol is the most commonly used drug so once the uh, general condition has become stable you have reversed the attack you have decreased the intraocular pressure by iv route then we can shift the patient to the topical drug so i can give this timolol also now what about this atropine atropine is a mid reattack obviously it will worsen the condition because mid dilatation of the pupil has of course led to this attack so you cannot give further mid dilatation or the dilatation of the pupil so therefore answer is the atropine atropine is a mid reattack and a cycloplegic and this attack is coming due to the mid dilatation of pupil so we require the meiotic and not the mid reattack so answer to this question is atropine for any queries doubts <clears throat> your available feedback and suggestions you can always ping me up at any of the social media platforms if you sincerely think that these cases are beneficial to you do like the hit button subscribe it so that you will get the latest notifications of all the videos do share the videos to with your friends and colleagues who needs <clears throat> this because you know in this covid crisis co clinical postings are not getting a uh, place and that is why i am getting lot of messages from the students to uh, make these videos help you out so i want maximum of the people can get benefit from these videos uh, you can be a part of uh, our telegram group and the facebook group because we are conducting the daily tests and quizzes active participation in these will boost up your preparation like anything you can follow me on insta and facebook for a lot of motivational and academic stuff thank you and happy ophthalmology